Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I went into the game and I saw that the romantic garden stuff pack was totally free. So I decided to abandon the actual build that I wanted to do and um, yeah I just got the pack and I decided to build with it right away and at first I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do but I decided that I just would look at all the new objects that I now had in the build um, at first I looked at the rooms that they pre-built and now I'm just looking at the objects one by one and um, just letting that inspire me and as you can see now I'm at the um, windows um, and uh, yeah I really like the different swatches uh, that um, there are in the um, in the different items that I've already seen um, I especially um, like the green swatch of the windows, even though I will be changing that later. Um, I still have the green swatch at the moment and I will put that down um, here um, with that building that I have in the corner of the lot, um, but I will change that to um, to be white later. Um, but I like the green swatch. Um, it's a little bit um, like different, it doesn't fit well with everything that we already have but um, I still think it's a nice um, tone. Um, I think with uh, for example um, greenhouses it uh, could fit well as uh, well um, so yeah that's um, one thing that I believe could be uh, useful in uh, such a build um, but I decided in the end that I would um, do a wedding with you um, just because uh, like everything kind of fits there um, with the uh, yeah different uh, things items that there are um, and I thought uh, why not do a wedding venue with the romantic garden stuff pack um, it's just uh, like the romance thing it just fit quite well together um, and yeah that's what I decided to build and um, because I had windows I knew that I would need some kind of room or interior so um, I decided to put the bar inside um, of course the wedding when you doesn't have any um, like requirements but it has like optional suggestions basically um, and um, one of them is a bar so that's something that I put inside I also put seating inside of course um, and um, a toilet and a sink area um, and yeah the rest is all outside and um, I really really like the large fountain um, I think it looks really cool especially I especially like the default swatch um, it's just like uh, kind of I think a quite realistic fountain um, a little bit like um, yeah overgrown kind of um, and I think it looks quite nice um, so yeah, I really like that and I basically put it in the middle of the whole lot um, as like a focal point um, and I think it looks nice there. Of course there are a lot of other um, like things to put down uh, because I wanted to challenge myself and put every single item that um, there is into the build. So. Everything that I laid out in the beginning I will be using, um, so nothing will be deleted or not used at all. And every single item is somewhere on this lot. I just think that something like that forces you to look at the items and not limit yourself to one thing. And I really like doing that. And yeah, as you can see in the left front of the build I put a little bit of a picnic area so I put down those picnic tables again with the default swatch that just matches with the fountain and uh, basically everything that has like those kind of swatches with a little bit of overgrown um, kind of not moldy but like mossy um, swatches I used with that so those are the picnic tables and then 
a continuation of the walkway to the fountain and then you just walk around the fountain and you come to the actual like wedding area so yeah I put that down um, at first I did it a little bit lopsided so it wasn't centered so yeah I needed to change that and I decided to use the benches and the planter boxes for decoration on the left and the right of the benches as well and the wishing well I put in the right back corner and surrounded it with the trellises that we have and I decided that I would basically do a the full trellis and then the trellis with the hole and then with again the full one and so on and I think it looks quite um, nice it's another divider basically um, like with the front left corner with the picnic table I used the bushes as dividers here I used the trellises as dividers I'm not sure if I will be using them often just because I think they are a little bit strange both of them the bushes and the trellises but in this case because I knew that I wanted to use everything I of course did use them and that's also a reason why I really wanted to um, force myself to use everything because I knew that potentially I wouldn't use the pack or certain items of it again if or ever if I don't do it in this instance and then I use the half wall to divide it again just because I wanted a low divider here and uh, bushes as well as the wooden things are quite high so yeah it wouldn't have made sense to use anything else and there I put down the two statues as well as the like plant fountain that I think doesn't have water in it and yeah I put that down in that corner we also have the monkey bars the overgrown ones with the plants in this pack and I just put it next to the house just because I needed to put it somewhere I think it's a nice addition honestly for a wedding venue just because so yeah kids have something to do as well it's still a little bit strange I have to admit because of times you think of like wedding venues as quite serious affairs and yeah it just it doesn't fit really well but I still think it's a nice touch for the kids and now I'm just doing some terrain paint in the different areas underneath the plants and um, underneath the picnic area and so on I really wanted um, it to be to look natural um, so yeah all the walkways are uh, I put down a little bit of terrain paint so yeah it just looks like people actually walk there as well I also like the plants I don't think the big bush is all that realistic but I especially like the like medium ones and also the really tall ones I think they look quite nice um, and I also really like the different swatches that there are I also think that some of the plants look quite like alien or just a little bit weird or have weird swatches for example the two that I quite like they have like a purple swatch or a reddish purple swatch which kind of looks weird in like na nature or um, or in this um, type of lot it would look weird but I think maybe I will be using those swatches and building something just inspired by that just because I think it would look fun maybe but I'm not sure yet and yeah now I'm just like putting kind of finishing touches almost um, I have the layout and the like big things um, down now I just need to finish everything I'm putting down some lights and 
some more decorations inside because um, the walls are quite empty inside so I knew that I wanted to put down something I wasn't really sure what I settled on pictures and the pictures with the couples I thought were quite fitting for the wedding venue so yeah I put that down and yeah then I was finished now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a nice week.